Troy Strawberry Bike Man Performance. Today we have the Matrix 850 on the dyno. It's good and warmed up. Uh, we're at uh, 99 degrees engine temp. Uh, you can also see our coolant coming out right here. Pipe temp, muffler temp, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll go we'll clear the graph and we'll start fresh. And we'll go right into this. So, Matrix 850, 2021. So there, there's a, a cold pipe run. Uh, makes pretty good power on a cold pipe. This one made uh, 179.1 at 80.25 and 118 at 79.25. Uh, we did switch to every 2500 or every 25 RPM increments this year, just so you can see more data. Now let's go uh, right into the next run here. So on that one we made uh, 176.7 at 80.25 and 115.7 for torque at 79.25. So it's looking like right in between that uh, 79.25 and 80.25 is going to be your sweet spot on a second run scenario where the engine's 108 on this one and and uh, you know about. You know, like doing two pulls in a row. So let's go into another one here. And on this run, we made uh, 175.4 at 80.25 and 114.9 at 79.00 and 79.25. So you got about a, a 150 RPM window you can hit right here and still have a decent run. Uh, this one, engine temps right in that uh, 110. Uh, range. Let's go back into another one here. We'll get a few in a row that This one here made 174.6 at 80.50, uh, 114.8 for torque at 79.50. Uh, this is good and warmed up and you can see this little spike coming up here. Uh, it's really pulling fuel out uh, quite a bit right there so you, we don't recommend running it out there although it will have decent over rev if you go there every now and then. So we can go into uh, one more run here and then we'll kind of average a few together and, and show you what everything kind of averages out to and, and what three runs in a row did. So uh, we can go back in to hit this here. And this engine is completely out of broke in, break in.
And the one at the end here, I can actually, so this one's about the same we made, uh, 174.6, uh, 114.5. Uh, and this one will actually let it go higher just so you can see what it does. We don't like going higher than we would normally run them because no sense hammering on something more than you would. But I'll go right to 8,500 on this one and show you what it does. So it kind of just fades off. It doesn't go much further. So you can see this little bit of a, a spike up right there. That's uh, one of the reasons we don't run them beyond there because it's, it's not really designed to run out that far. So uh, once we have a you know pipe on it or whatever, then we can uh, do stuff like that. So. So here we got, uh, there's last good one. There's, I'm going to do three in a row here so you can see what it actually does. So that's three in a row. Uh, you can tell it got a little warmer on this. Uh, second two, I mean by warm I mean that the pipe was up to operating temperature so it got down and mellowed out. Uh, these are 174.6 at 80.50 and you can see down here the torque kind of follows the same curve. So you're going to want your torque to get up to you know 7900 pretty quick and then you can run out to uh, your horsepower. Uh, that's, that's the Matrix 850 everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of the more stuff. We, we're going to be putting uh, Torque Link Flash, Y Pipe, and all the other goodies on and doing videos of those also. Over now, see you.